Hi guys, my name is Yadira Solis. I will be going over a few of our lifts today. Um, deadlift, bench press, front squat, back squat. And then we're gonna move on and talk about um, spotting techniques. Um, and that's it guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the deadlift. You wanna make sure that your feet shoulder width apart. Um, once you have that, you wanna squat down. Your hips have to be lower than your shoulders. Um, and then the type of grip that you want to do is either an alternated grip or a pronated grip. Um, you'll place your hands slightly wider than your shoulders and your elbows will be fully extended as you can see in this picture right here. Um, and something else that you need to remember is to always have the bar one inch away from your shin from when you're going to start. So now you're going to lift up the bar from the ground by extending your knees and your hips. Okay making sure that you uh, keep a straight back. So now I want to teach you guys how what not to do and how not to lift up the bar off the ground. You never want to um, round your back. And um, you also want to make sure that you're looking straight forward. When you're doing this your eyes can be focused straight um, also keep your chest up one more thing i wanted to add for um, the starting position is to have your shoulders slightly um, over the bar as well hi guys so now we're moving on to the bench press you want to start um, in a five point body contact position um, so what you want to do is place your body on the bench so that your eyes are below the racked bar. And the type of uh, grip that you want to do is a closed pronated grip um, that is slightly wider than your shoulders. Now you're ready to um, do your first rep. So now unrack the bar, the bar off the rack. Um, fully extend your elbows. And now go down. So now on these few reps that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do uh, what not to do. Um, sometimes um, individuals tend to round their back and their back is not touching the bench, so that is not good. Um, so you always want to keep your back touching the bench. Also, sometimes a um, few individuals can lift up their feet when they're doing these. Um, we don't want to do that either because um, you can hurt yourself as well. Um, so again, keep your eyes um, on the bar. And this is the correct form. <clears throat> Okay. okay, next is the back squat. So now what you want to do is have a pronated grip. Step under the bar, your feet. Okay guys, so on this next clip you're going to see me um, doing the low bar position and the high bar position and just placing the bar um, either, um, either one. So for the low bar position, it's placed across the posterior deltoids at the middle of your trapezius. And then for the high bar position, it's about the posterior deltoid at the base of the neck. Um, for the low bar position, it's recommended to use if you're doing heavier weight. Okay, so now you're ready to do your first rep. Step out of the rack. Um, yeah, step out of the rack. Take one or two steps backwards. Um, and then also make sure that your feet are parallel to each other. You can either slightly um, point your feet um, outward. For me, I'd rather do that because it's best. Uh, it's more comfortable for me. Um, and it, it helps me be more flexible when I go down. Um, Okay, so now you can go slowly down. Um, extend your knees, your hips. So here, um, in this clip right here, I'm just showing what not to do. Um, sometimes when um, the bar is a little too heavy, I mean the weight or the plate set are a little too heavy, um, we tend, you can tend to go um, forward and stuff. That's the correct form. And now, rack 
taking it. We're doing the front squat, um, and this is very similar to the back squat. Um, the only difference is that um, the bar is actually in front of you this time. Um, so what you want to do is you want to step uh, forward to the bar, and you can either do a parallel arm position or a crossed arm position. In my case, I'm going to be doing the parallel arm position. So for the parallel arm position, um, you want to grasp the bar with a closed pronated grip. Your grip can be, or should be, slightly wider than your shoulders. Make sure that the bar is actually on top of your anterior deltoids and your clavicles. So like I mentioned before, the hit, um, the front and the back spot are exactly the same. Um, so what we want to do is do the hip hinge down and up. Remember that when you're doing this, you are pushing up with your heels. Keep your um, elbows up and yeah, so right now, as you can see, I am not putting my elbows up. Um, purposely, I was trying to show you guys how um, how not to do it. And So now the correct form, how to do this, is also remembering that your knees should be aligned with your um, toes, not so far away, not slightly like over them, but just parallel to them. Down, up, and all the way down. Not a quarter squat, a full squat. Okay, so now we're moving on to spotting techniques. Um, I'm going to be spotting Tori right here. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to place um, your hands under their arms, and your forearms are going to be right next to their lats. Uh, let to some store size and so yeah you do that um, so then when you do a two two spotters so both spotters will be on each side of the barbell um, and we're gonna go down at the same time that our individual goes down so remember that when you are spotting them making sure that you are going down at the same time that they're going down also, make sure to not like touch them or grab them or anything. Just follow them um, when you go down and up. So okay, guys, this is the last spot technique that we're doing today. Um, so what you want to do is you want to have your um, you want to stand very close to the head of the bench, and making sure that you place your feet shoulder width apart with your knees slightly um, slightly flexed. The type of grip that you want to do for the bench is you want to do an alternated grip um, inside of uh, the individual's hands. So now Tori is ready. I assisted her with um, uh, pulling off the, the bar from the rack. And now slowly following her um, without touching the bar. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys learned something today. Um, and that's it.